Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to fix the following error which may occur when we try to install WAMP server. So the error is the code execution cannot proceed because this DLL file was not found. So to fix this error we have to follow three steps. So first we need to uninstall the program which is WAMP server because it was not installed correctly. Then we need to download and install Visual C++ Redistributable. And of course we need to install the latest version. And finally we need to install our program again, which is in our case WAMP server. So let's start with the first step. So to uninstall the program we have just to make a right click on this button. Then programs and features. And here we have to find WAMP server, so this is our program, and we need to uninstall it. But in my case it is already installed correctly, so I will not uninstall it. Then we have to go to the second step, and we have to go to the browser, and then we need to download and install Visual C++ Redistributable. So here let's type Visual C++ Redistributable. Then let's go to this first link, it is on microsoft.com. Then we need to download the latest version of the redistributable. So let's scroll down. And here we can see that we have different versions of the installer. This is for 64-bit system and this is for 32-bit system. In my case I have a 64-bit system, so I need to download and install this version of the installer. So to find the version of your operating system, you have just to make a right click on this button, then system. And in the system type, we can see that in my case, I have a 64-bit system. So I need to download and install this version of the installer. So let's click on it. And then we need to save it. But in my case, I have already downloaded this file, so I will cancel this download. So this is the Visual C++ Redistributable, we need just to run it to fix the problem. But in my case I have already installed it, so I will not install it again. So after installing the Visual C++ Redistributable, we can start the installation of WAMP server again, and this time we should not have any error.